the lord hallelujah father we thank you we give you praise we praise you we magnify your name for a time like this we worship you father for the opportunity to live and for the gift of your word thank you because your word that is alive and active will be a lamp unto our feet a light unto our path that even today lord that as we share in your word by the gift and the communion of the holy spirit lord our heart will be opened to the truth in your word and your glory will shine forth we give you praise we magnify your name for in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed amen hallelujah Joel chapter 2 and verse 25 Joel chapter 2 and verse 25 praise god that scripture record it says i will repay you for the years eaten by the locust that's the barium study bible by the way i will repay you for the year eaten by the locust the swarming locust the young locust the destroying locust and the devouring locust my great army that i sent against you in the new living translation is the scripture says the lord says i will give you back what you lost to the swarming locust the open locust the stripping locust and the cutting locust it was i who sent the great destruction destroying enemy against you english standard versions records that i will restore to you the years that the swarming locust have eaten the upper the destroyer and the quarter my great army which i sent among you and the king james version says i will restore to you the years that the locust have eaten the canker worms and the caterpillar and the parma worms my great army which i sent amongst you hallelujah so today beloved we will be talking about the mercy of god the mercy of god scripture tells us that the mercies of the lord never ceases. It says compassion never ceases why is compassion important why is compassion important now the basis for this scripture is instituted in israel's crops crops being destroyed by a locust inv invasion that you find in Jim, in joel chapter one particularly in verse four praise god now when this happened we are told clearly from this scripture that this led to a destruction of their club they were wiped out the seed that was saved from the previous year everything it, it was more or less like there was a major devastation praise the lord now rolling to chapter 2 and in verse 25 particularly if you read the scripture prior to that you see something that scripture points out to us in verse 24 he said the threshing floor will be full of grain and the vase will overflow with new wine and oil now why is this important because we need to understand that what is happening here is clearly the mercy of God shown forth. The mercy, mercy in itself, derives from uh, 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 Latin, hallelujah, medieval Latin. But critically, when mercy appears in scripture, one of the things that it represents is forgiveness or withholding punishment for instance when god showed mercy on us when he sacrificed his son jesus christ on the cross to pay the price for our sins hallelujah in psalm 51 and verse 1 scripture says have mercy on me O god according to your unloving unfailing love according to your great compassion blot out my transgression but scripture also defines mercy beyond forgiveness and withholding punishment. It shows us mercy. He, he describes it in terms of how God shows his mercy 
true healing, comfort, alleviation of suffering, and caring about those in distress. It is important, therefore, that we begin to understand that mercy in itself is subsumed in compassion. Jesus showed this again and again when we are told that Jesus had compassion on him, had compassion on her, had compassion. Praise God. Mercy and compassion are intertwined. In short, when compassion adds to alleviate suffering, it becomes mercy. When compassion adds, when compassion adds, when it adds, when it adds to alleviate suffering, it becomes mercy. The meaning of mercy, therefore, is that it is a fruit of compassion. The mercy is a gift given to someone who is suffering by someone acting with compassion. Mercy is what is given to someone who is suffering by someone acting with compassion. In the scripture we read, clearly the children of Israel, following the invasion by the locusts, needed mercy. They needed the show of God's compassion, that God's compassion will flow through. Hallelujah. Now, beloved, in looking at this scripture, therefore, we begin to understand and see differently of the need for me, for you, to act with compassion. And you see, the meaning of compassion is to recognize suffering of others and then take actions to help. Hallelujah. Compassion is different from feeling concerned about someone in distress or caring about someone's misfortune. No, it's not about just being concerned. It is action related. It is action related. The action associated with compassion is mercy. Praise God. And again and again, whether in forgiving us our sins, whether in, in withholding punishment, in giving us comfort, in healing, diverse ways does God show his mercy towards us. And that's why this morning, the call to me and to you is that this restoration promised by God is possible and it comes from the place of repentance and that we can also be the vehicle of this of this of this mercy in the life of those around us by actually adding mercy to our concerns so that compassion can flow but most importantly, beginning with us, Scripture says, "If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray," He said, "And turn from their wicked ways." Said, "Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal land." Nigeria, our country, is where it is today, because of the choices we have made as saints, and that's why as we pray as the church today for mercy upon our nation, whatever nation you found yourself, we must start with the place of repentance. Because we have lost, we have been lost by sin. But in God's mercy, He restores us. Restoration is possible. And that's the promise of God this morning. But it is for them that will turn from all their sins. And begin to keep God's status. And do that which is lawful and right. Then will we live, we will not die. And all our transgressions that we have committed, He will look over with the eyes of mercy. And mercy will say no, when sin is condemning us. Do you want to take a choice with Jesus? This is the best decision you can do. So call the numbers on the screen. We'll be there to pray with you. As Jesus helps. God bless you. Amen.